how to add the numbers 1 to 100 quickly. Gauss and his lazy teacher. As a youngster, the famous mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss supposedly had a very lazy teacher. The legend goes that one day, to keep the class busy, the teacher set them the following problem. If we take all of the integers from 1 to 100 and add them together, what do you get? Now the teacher thought this would keep the class busy for a long time. After all, that's 100 numbers to add together. However, just a few seconds after setting the problem, Gauss came back to his teacher with the correct answer of 5050. How did he manage this? What Gauss did was think about pairs of numbers. He thought about all the numbers from 1 to 100. He then thought about what would happen if he matched these numbers up, but matched the smallest one with the largest one, the second smallest with the second largest, and so on. So we can demonstrate this by writing out the same list, but backwards below. Now you can see that if we add each pair together, 1 add 100, 2 add 99, 3 add 98, and so on, each pairing gives us an answer of 101. Now because we're adding together the numbers from 1 to 100, that means we've got 100 lots of this 101. So if we multiply them together, we get 10,100. However, we've got this number by adding together the numbers 1 to 100 twice. So to get our final answer, we need to halve this to get 5,050, just as Gauss did. Now we can also use the same idea to make a general formula. So if we've got a list of whole numbers from 1 up to a largest number n, we're going to look for a formula for adding all of these together. So let's do the same thing. We're going to write the numbers out underneath, but in reverse. Now if you look carefully at each pair, if we add them together you can see that each pair gives us an answer of n plus 1. We've got n of those. But as before, if we multiplied them together, we'd have a number that's twice as big as what we're looking for. So our final formula is going to be half of n times n plus 1. So try using this formula yourself on some lists of numbers. See how quickly you can find the total of them.